close to me, but I won't stop, no. I won't stop, no. I won't stop, no. I can't stop. Episode number seven, getting all sorts caught up. Not really, but slowly, but surely. Uh, so I actually didn't record my very first thing I did, which was my rep bench. And if you've watched any of these, you know that it's nothing fancy. Uh, I was five sets eight this week, and I had a PR 135 for all five sets. On to what I actually did record. Uh, this was actually a really good workout. If I remember correctly, all my notes say it was a good workout, so I think that's a good sign. Uh, I did dumbbell floor press, which... There's not a whole lot of variation between these workouts, so from 6 to 7 is going to be very, very similar. The only thing that's going to change are some of the weights slightly, um, just because I'm trying to beat my previous week's weights. So for the dumbbell floor press, I start out with 55s, and I only got two sets there, and on the third set I dropped down to this 45, which is what I recorded. I went on to incline flies, and again, very similar to last week, I did three sets of 20. Um, I did all three sets at 15. Uh, the fly motion used to hurt my shoulder after my injury, uh, but now more than anything, the incline ones don't really hurt it at all. It's more of just like the flat flies, I can feel it a little bit more, but the incline flies feels great. Plus it's the only incline um, upper pec work that I do. After the incline flies, I went on to the shoulder part of this workout, which is started off with my rear delts. We did cable. Uh, the cross cable rear flies, which I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite rear delt things. Uh, face pulls are right there with them. I like throwing face pulls in there every now and then, but I love doing these high reps. I did five sets of 20 here. Getting back to my machine for side raises. We did the uh, machine side raises, and instead of doing my... I had five sets on this last time, and instead of doing five sets here, I did my five sets on the rear, so this week I did three sets of 30 on the side raise machine. And I started off with 25, and I did my first set at 25, and then my last two sets of 30, I dropped it down to 15. Then to finish out, I finished out with Arnold presses for four sets of 12. I absolutely love Arnold presses. I feel like this has got one of the best carryovers to my actual bench for me. So I like throwing it in there, and I like throwing it in there at the very end, uh, just because, I mentioned this in the other video, I just get a lot of front delt activation out of the benching motions and all of that. So that's why I like throwing this in at the end, because I don't really need more front delt, but I do love the carryover that I get from this exercise. Wednesday the 27th. This week was a little weird just because uh, we were up seeing Laura's family that the Saturday and Sunday before so we didn't get I think we got back Monday which is why I didn't work out Monday. So I literally had to do five workouts back to back to back to back to back. Uh, and A after watching this clip this this entire day just frustrates me because my ISO settings are way off and I did not go all out. I, sh there, I left so much in the tank uh, for this workout, but I had so much going on with the release and trying to get everything ready for this July stuff. So I was stressing out a little bit over that, but my ISO settings are way off and I, didn't, I did not give everything I had for this workout, which is a little frustrating. Um, so speed box squats, dandy. Uh, bumped it up to the double banded again, just getting a little bit more band tension than we did the previous times. Uh, for all eight sets of doubles, I did 150. After that, we went into a six rep max versus those double bands in that slightly above parallel box. 185 is what I got. Again, I probably, I, I don't know, 195, 200 maybe is probably what I had. I mean, after watching this, I mean, it's... 185 moves super well, which is which is good. Sumo block pulls. This is the one that frustrated me the most, and coincidentally, the ISO is set the best here. Uh, I did 340 for three off blocks, and I think the most frustrating thing about this is that I just uh, I just did a sumo three rep max from the floor like uh, two days ago as I'm talking over this. 
and I pulled 340 for three times off the floor. So I should have, I mean, I should have done way, 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 way more than this. Uh, but, I mean, beggars can't be choosers and watching back over it, I can't be too upset with it because it, it did move really well and I know I can pull this weight from the floor for three reps, which puts me pretty close to where I want to be. Puts me pretty close to a 370, 365 deadlift, which is what I'm going to be looking to hit in my meet in September, so that, that's good. I just should have hit more here. These absolutely wrecked me. Uh, I did a 15 rep max of RDLs versus Monster Mini Bands, and it just it wrecked me. Uh, my hamstrings just killed after doing these. After I got done doing all that rep work, I went on to doing single leg work. And I like throwing in single leg stuff just because it helps, especially with like my hips from with with squatting and deadlifting as much as I do. I feel like my hips get beat up every now and then as well as my lower back. So I like doing single leg stuff, whether it's extensions or like this single leg RDL, just because I feel like it's got a lot of healthy help for me, especially in my hips, my lower back, my hamstrings, all that. I just feel like it helps out a ton. So I did three sets of 20 here, single leg RDLs. Worst position the camera could have possibly been in for this, but these were lying leg curls. I hope you've seen this machine uh, and you just appreciate my delts as you're watching this uh, because I didn't show the weight moving or even my hamstrings or anything at all. Terrible camera execution on Alex's part. But for this, we did two sets of 20. To finish out, I just did some simple ab static holds. I did four sets of 30 in this V position, and that's how I ended that day. Sometimes I'm feeling high, but sometimes I'm feeling low I wanna stay inside, I could call my bed my home I've been trapped inside my mind, that's what keeps me in the zone I think that I'll be fine, but I do not really know Yeah, It's too late for me, not too late for you To be great, you see, the pain's worth the truth I don't wanna be just someone that's new I speak my mind so free, so you could hear the truth Yeah, I know that we all have fear in the back of our minds we hear the devil that's in our ear let it push you to see more clear So this was week three of this block, so that means it's time to test our one rep maxes on everything. So start off with dynamic, or I'm sorry, we start off with the max effort lower, where I did reverse band front squats, and for our one rep max, I hit 255 versus the uh, mini bands. Uh, definitely a little grinder. Then I did some back down sets uh, just to get some extra rep work and some volume in it, some heavier weights. So I did 210 for my AMREP sets. Also, if you notice uh, on the inside of this bar, I've actually got a five and a chip and then I have my weight and that's because I don't like to do math. Uh, and this is a 30 pound bar. So by adding that extra 15 pounds, it makes it 45. And it's like, just like every other bar. So that's Alex's uh, gym bro. Uh, hack tip. Still wasn't done with front squats because I just love front squats so much so we did some paused work uh, four sets of six at 160. The pause stuff's actually helping me out a ton because especially now that I'm starting to get into wraps my biggest thing is that I'm not leading with my traps and my hips just shoot up out of the hole so doing this pause work really helps me focus on that. Back at it again with the single leg work that everyone keeps questioning me about. Yes, I do lots of single leg work. Uh, I really like doing single leg work. And I did reverse lunges here for four sets of 10 on each leg. I like to put my front foot elevated just because it gives me a little bit deeper stretch. Uh, and again, the only reason I, I shouldn't say the only reason, one of the reasons I do the single leg stuff is to help with just keeping my hips happy and my lower back and just that little extra two and a half inches of depth really helps me out and I just, I just like it a lot. So here's the one that I have not done in forever. I thought I'd throw it in there towards the end. Uh, I did a close leg press on this machine 
And I haven't done leg press in, I don't even remember the last time I did leg press, but for this one, if you notice, I'm not really doing full reps. My whole intention with this was to just keep constant tension on my legs, and that's exactly what I did uh, for two sets of 25. Then finishing out, I just did some spread eagle sit-ups. I did it weighted, and I just did them in expl as, as explosively as I could. So with my ab work, I kind of break it down. I do some explosive work. I do uh, isometric holds, uh, and that's really about it. That's I, I just like throwing it in there because it makes me feel a little bit more athletic, and I like doing the explosive stuff. So Brandon and I were kind of crunched for time on this day, uh, but this was time to text, test the one rep max of a one board versus a double mini bands. I took 175, which was my goal, and I just moved too well for me to pass up on uh, taking another shot. So I bumped it up another 10 pounds, went to 185, and actually crushed 185, and that felt really good. So I am super happy with where my bench is moving. Then I did some back down rep work, same approach I did for the front squats. I backed down to 116, did some AM rep sets there. Uh, for those of you who've been asking, yes, uh, I do know how to do math. Uh, this is actually a 55 pound bench bar. So that's why everything is 10 pounds heavier than what you might think it should be. But I promise you, I'm not adding 10 pounds. It's just a 10 pound heavier bench bar. Then the actually the last thing I actually got to do was close grip one board bench. I did that for four sets of six, and I got up to 185 was my top set, uh, which and that moved well. I took the bands off for this, but it moved really well, and that was actually all the time that I had because we both had to get out of there. I had to get back here, and he had, uh, I think he had a dinner or something to go to. I don't really remember, but we both were kind of crunched our time. It was just the two of us, so I kind of cut out all my tricep work after that. So on this day, I really didn't do anything besides my max effort heavy stuff, and that's okay. That's just the, it's just the way it happened, so I'm okay with that. Thank you for watching episode seven. Time to get into episode eight, which will start the next block, which is fun, super fun, because I'm getting into wraps and I'm doing something way different for bench. So stay tuned for that, which will be up. I, I can't even say when it'll be up. I've got like two videos I wanna get out before uh, episode eight. How'd you, speaking of that, how'd you like the really short the 47 second video that I put up on YouTube that was legitimately just an entire workout but just one little edited clip. Do you like that? I think I really like that because I know everyone was asking me for like the exact stuff of what I do because this, I, I don't know if this doesn't give you close enough but I thought that might be an interesting way so I'm just kind of testing. I was, what are your thoughts on those quick videos that show exactly what the full workouts are? Appreciate you watching. See you in episode 8. Peace out.